Hi everyone! <laughs> We're making ribbon wands today! <laughs> They're usually for infants and toddlers, but you know what? Everyone can have fun with them, right? Especially for music and movement. So let's see a little behind the scenes of this process. We've now added the jewels with our hot glue gun. And I'm almost finished. Mommy. We're gonna make something today for infants and toddlers. They are these beautiful ribbon wands using wooden dowels and some jewels. So here we are in a regular day in our studio. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Lily prefers to keep writing. We have a big project and we can't wait to share it with you. So step one, you need a hot glue gun. And of course you need to make sure you have the glue. Plug it into the wall, make sure it's safe somewhere high away from the kids. And while that's heating up, you can prepare the rest of your materials. So I've plugged in the hot glue gun up here just resting on a piece of stone and now I'm going to use my scissors to cut all the ribbon and all the yarn. I wanted to show you some of the fancier ones that I found that I really really love. Take a look at these. Aren't they beautiful? They match the colors of the Transformed logo. It's nice and warm. So we're going to start to glue our various materials together. So while we are working, what are you doing? You're, you're baking for us? Wow, thank you so much. What are you baking? Cookies. Are there lots of cookies for me? Yeah. What else do you have in here? Fries with fish. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I'm starting an experiment. <laughs> You're calling everything an experiment. So it looks like he's starting to cover the wooden dowels with some stickers, which wasn't part of what I was planning. But you know what? The studio has so many different resources that it doesn't really bother me if they choose something different. So here we are, different view of our ribbon other materials. I'm going to start cutting. I want to make it the same length. And I'm going to put two of these blue ones. Start off first with making a knot for mine or you can glue the top however you feel more comfortable. I'm going to glue the top. You're going to glue the top? Okay. I'm going to knot mine twice and then I'm probably still going to glue it. Mommy, can you knot mine twice too? Sure. You're making ice cream again? Wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it. Mommy, wrapping mommy, it mommy and wrapping can you wipe, wipe my twice? All choice? the way. Mommy, can you wipe mommy, my twice? Yeah, I'm going to help you with yours. Can you help me with my paint? So it turns sort of like this. Actually, wrap it all the way around. And then add more ribbon. Still working here. We have all these parts done. Does it look better? No. It yeah. looks really good. Does it look does it look like a flower? Yeah. It looks like a happy birthday present. It is it is a present, so I have to wrap it up. Because because I don't want Daddy to see it. Mommy. These ones are much, much fancier.
getting good. I'm I just can, swapping up the bread. I've been meaning to make these sebi for a really long time, right? We've just been very busy. You'll notice the yarn actually works nicer on the dowel than the ribbon. Oh, thanks. Should I put those on here too? Yeah. What do you think about that, everybody? Good. That's a good idea. So what are you adding to yours? Now I'm gonna add my 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 good leaves. The gold leaves? Yeah. And what are you working on here? Like um glue. With the glue? Just glue. Glitter glue? Yeah. Look at my long leaves. It's very long, you're right. So we've been working hard. I'm almost finished wrapping mine. Mine is almost finished too. And we have to add the jewels because the jewels or the bells will give it some sounds when you shake it in front of the infant or the toddler. Wow! Can you shake it high for us to see? You think the babies will like it? They'll catch their attention? I hope you enjoyed our episode and our little do-it-yourself project. This could be for imaginative play in the dramatic arts, like a magic wand. It can be used for music and movement to enhance any dance or song. And of course, if you have little infants, you can dangle it on top of them capture their attention, and improve the use of any storybook or any music that you happen to be playing or singing to them.